I've owned quite a few very different tripods and here are my recommendations based on my experiences. I need to divide this video into two different sections. Tripods I use for my mountain bike channel and tripods that I use for my client work. That's commercials and interviews and stuff. Starting with what I use for my mountain bike channel, my requirements differ from most other outdoor creators. Since every gram on a bike counts, I need small and lightweight tripods, which still are tall enough for my 185 centimeters. I usually ride with this camera backpack, which is on the small side, and the tripod cannot be mounted on the outside, since it can fall off and it's not ideal to place it there from a safety standpoint either. It could cause a lot of damage if I crash at high speeds. After a lot of searching, I found this tripod. It's a Mifoto Road Trip Air and it's only 29 centimeters and weighs just 926. It's not a full height tripod, but with the camera on top, I think it's good enough for my use. The ground is rarely perfect anyway out in the woods, so there's always some moving around before finding the right position to film from. I've used this extensively for over three years now and I like it very much, but there are a couple of downsides with it. Firstly, it's somewhat difficult to lock the legs properly. It has happened more than once that one of the legs suddenly collapses and the camera goes to the ground. I've now learned exactly how much I need to tighten it and I don't have this problem anymore. The second thing is that there are other tripods with levers that are easy to use and also faster to use as well. There is a similar tripod called, I don't remember, I'll write it up there, that I think would be better than this. It's more expensive, but it seems to be easier and safer to use. And uh, maybe it's a bit smaller too, I don't know. It's about the same size as this. It can be used in all the usual ways. So there's an Arca Swiss plate and it's possible to put that sideways to film vertically as well and the legs can be repositioned as well uh, in lots of different angles oh yeah it's got a hanger here for your backpack as well to stabilize the tripod if it's windy it can be positioned upside down to take these close to the ground shots if you need it i have used it as a selfie stick as well works quite well uh, in a pinch sometimes i feel with the smartphone too and uh, this brings up this cheap selfie stick it's nothing that I recommend, but in a pinch it's better than nothing. This is a no-name brand. There are literally hundreds of them. I've used it both with my smartphone and with my GoPro as well. Speaking of GoPros, sometimes I got this Grip 2 with me. It's not a tripod, there are no folding legs on it, but it's actually more useful than it looks. It floats too, and uh, even with the GoPro attached to it, so it's great for water sports. I just wanted to mention it. Back to the tripods I use when mountain biking then. Uh, sometimes I forget to pack that green tripod and I can actually use my gimbal as a tripod. This has only happened once, but it's great that gimbals have these legs. Not really head height though. Of these tripods, only the Mi Photo is a proper tripod and it's the most usable tripod of the bunch. I can actually use it for vlogging too, since it doesn't weigh that much. I am on a quest to ditch this camera backpack. It weighs around six kilos, even if I try to keep my camera equipment as small and lightweight as possible. That weight sometimes takes the fun out of mountain biking. Therefore, I will downsize this season and try to cope with only my GoPro, my iPhone and this little tiny drone. I still need some sort of tripod for talking heads. This thing can be difficult to fit in a pocket. I need something much smaller. There are a couple of alternatives. This Peak Design wallet thingy looks promising, but it's super expensive. There are cheaper alternatives, but they've all got the same fundamental problem. They will only work on flat surfaces, and the nature is never flat. I need some sort of ball head to adjust for imperfections. I got my new tripod right here. It's super small and fits inside my hand and my pocket, of course. This is the Joby Grip Tight One Micro. I don't say it's perfect, but it is small. When unfolded, the mobile attachment can be adjusted with this mini ball head. There are of course a few limitations with this tiny tripod. 
it cannot be adjusted very much. Hopefully it's enough. Maybe I need to bring an additional mini ball head on my rides. Secondly, I wish there was a MagSafe attachment here. Thirdly, it's a bit unstable, especially iPhones weigh like a brick nowadays. I haven't used this very much, but wish me good luck. When it comes to commercials and other client work, I use different tripods and I will save the best and cheapest for last. I used to have a standard Manfrotto tripod, but I got rid of that in favor for the Mi Photo tripod. The Manfrotto was too big for taking with me on my bike rides. Oh, God! And I didn't do client work at the time. Good tripod enough if I don't need to move it around too much. This is an expensive YC Onion Pineta Carbon Monopod. I got this from Joe at the Film Alliance. It was a giveaway competition. I'm really glad I won it and it doubles as sort of my B tripod, if that makes sense. It's got a small footprint and it's super fast to set up. But even if it's made from carbon fiber, it's a heavy piece. So I cannot take it with me on my mountain bike rides, unfortunately. And I don't even think I would take it out on photo walks either, to be honest. It's simply too heavy. The small footprint also involves a certain amount of risk, since it can easily tip over. And that has happened at least one time where my camera went to the floor and took the lights with it in the process. Very good build quality though. It's one of the most well-made pieces of equipment that I own, but I will not take it outdoors with me. Yeah, if you're wondering, I've got this Ulancy Mini Fluid Head, I think it's called. I'll probably make a review of it later on. Anyway, finally we come to my number one tripod. It's the one that I'm using right now to film with. And I just love it. And it's not only me that loves it. I know far better creators than me, like Marcus Pix, who uses these too. This tripod goes under many brand names and it's super cheap. I paid 20 euros for it and it's one of my very best investments in camera gear. It's super lightweight, super fast to set up and it's full height. I've used it for two years now and it's still as new despite the cheap build. When it breaks, I will not buy an expensive tripod from a well-known brand. I will buy these over and over again. So that's my take on tripods. I hope you got something out of this video. See you in the next one.